Foundation for Chiropractic Progress. We are delighted to have you join us today in regards to our next group advisory committee call. This is about you, for you, and the foundation's primary purpose is positive press for chiropractic. And our number one topic today is how to utilize the social media to generate exposure. What we've heard, seen, and continue to uh, hear is that social media plays a large role in what the states are doing, what our individual doctors in practice are doing, and the Foundation for Chiropractic Progress has one important piece to the social media, and that is content. What can we deliver to the doctors, to the states, that will help them to further our mission? And that's exactly what we want to do today. So I want to turn it over to our marketing director, who is outstanding in the social media department, Alexis, and she will go through with you in the next um, 20 minutes a little bit about our social media and how we're accelerating that. We're going to be building a team specifically for social media so that we can explode through different avenues and generate increased awareness of chiropractic. So with no further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Alexis. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. McAllister, and welcome, everyone. I'm so happy to have you. So today, our, our, social, our social media presentation will be how you can utilize social networks to market your state. So today, we're going to cover uh, content that the F4CP posts, our latest press release, new infographics that we've created, the organic growth of our platforms over the course of the past year, how to create a custom hashtag for your state, custom social media posts for each platform, and how you can manage all of this. So what does the F4C post? This is a various, uh, the various topics that we post, our releases, all the content that we come up with, and these can be found in our media center, which I've included a link here for you to see. So we post on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Pinterest, and these are all accessible for you. So this is our latest press release. We focused on the chiropractic care covered by most uh, that chiropractic care is covered by most health insurance plans. So our views to date. So the press release views we received over two thousand views, which is outstanding. Uh, Seventy eight clicks to the hyperlinks within this release. 12, over twelve thousand headline impressions and. Continuing the conversation from last month's webinar, if you want to customize this release for your local market, we are happy to help. Instead of the F4CP logo, for example, or my media contact information, you can customize it to your organization and then take it a step further um, to customize it for the material for your state and distribute it to the local media. So doing so, you can build up a distribution list and, and you can share our press release across your social media platforms. Here are two infographics that we recently created um, about how doctors of chiropractic are earning a minimum of seven years of higher education. Our goal is to educate consumers. So if you didn't know, infographics are liked and shared three times more than any type of content on the web. And you don't want to post the infographics together. So to get more mileage, you want to post them in a timely fashion, post different items on different platforms, whether Facebook, Twitter, and switch it up. So one day you could post the infographic on Facebook, and the next week or next month post it on Twitter. So here's an overview of the organic growth of our platforms, which this year our goal is to really drive uh, our followers and increase our platforms as much as possible. So over the course of the past year, you can see how we've grown our platforms organically, not through advertising or sponsored content. So custom hashtags. We have a custom hashtag at the foundation. It's hashtag or pound sign for those who are unfamiliar, F4CP social media. So I'm just going to click out of this really quick to show you tag board. As you can see, results for F4CP social media. Let me give you a, a look. Okay, so if you want to create your own hashtag, this is a great way to start because you can type it in and see if anybody else is using it. Hashtag F4CP social media. Go to tagboard.com, hit enter. It's great. You can see that other people are actually using our hashtag. And it's a great way to track it and track your own content. Okay, our Facebook page. So the peak time to post on Facebook is between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Thursday and Friday. Of course, you can post 
uh, throughout the week. I would recommend posting three to four times and including one to three relevant hashtags. You don't want to include any more than that. And including in, in including that is your custom hashtag. So use colored visuals because you want to increase people's willingness to open it and share it. Visuals always get more shares. So for example, if you wanted to generate more shares and engage more users, you would post a few minutes before 3 o'clock p.m. Because a lot of people who are social media savvy know the peak times to post. So if you want to beat them to the punch, you want to post at, say, like 2.56 p.m. instead of 3 o'clock to get the jump. So our Twitter pages. For the state associations, I would recommend following your local health and news reporters, and you can share the press release, for example, with them, your custom press releases, and we're happy to help you customize anything, so including your custom hashtag, um, and make sure you post. On Twitter, it's different. Peak time to tweet is between 12 o'clock p.m. and 1 o'clock p.m. And on Twitter, you have 140 characters to work with, which means if you want to include a hyperlink, you're going to have to shorten it. So I'm just going to hop out of this again to give you a walkthrough. Here are three URL shorteners, Bitly, Google URL Shortener, and Owly, which is a platform through Hootsuite. Okay. So if you want to take a link, for example, I'll go to our meet. This is the foundation website. I'm on our media center. Let's take an infographic. And you have access to all of these materials. So let's use this one. The copy. I'm going to go over to Bitly. Paste the link to shorten it. See, it's shortened. See? And you can just copy it. And you go on to Twitter. And when you want to go post it, you insert it here along with whatever you're, you plan to post. So we, let's put chiropractic care. Covered our most insurance plans. And along here, you want to put your custom hashtag. And tweet. Simple as that. Okay. Now on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is the highest profile business opportunity for your organization. So it's your responsibility. You want to build up your pages and try to stay active. So you need to link in with new connections. Say after each conference you meet people, go on LinkedIn and LinkedIn, link in with them and keep in touch. It's a great way to build relationships and be a performer. What I mean by this is you could be an actionary participant by sharing other people's posts, um, starting mean meaningful conversations, and all of this will result in building up your pages. YouTube. So if your state association has or hasn't already viewed or shared our Gallup poll PSA, which I've highlighted in yellow, you can see Dr. McAllister um, is featured, you need to view it. It is focused on the Gallup report on the four pillars, which we are doing an extensive marketing campaign around each focus on trust, education, safety, and coverage. So this is available on our YouTube page, which is youtube.com. You can see the link in here at 4CP 2010. And this would be a great content to share on your social media pages. Now, Pinterest, this is a new platform. We started late uh, 2015. We currently have seven new boards on there. And if you're one of our followers or an active uh, Pinterest user, please feel free to share any recommendations for new boards you would like to see. But you can see some of the ones we have on here. A lot of them are uploaded as PDF, so they're easy to share on your social media platforms. Okay, social media management. There are several platforms you can use because social media can be a job in itself. I can say, um, so if you use Hootsuite, for example, which is my go-to, you can add different streams. So you can insert your Twitter, your Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever social networks you're currently utilizing, you can add them on here and schedule posts. So where it says compose message, you can go in there, type in your post with your shortened hyperlink and your custom hashtag and schedule it through their tool. So that way, if you don't have time during the week to uh, populate your social media pages, say you take a Monday from 4 to 5 p.m., you make it a goal to set up your tweets and your Facebook posts and LinkedIn posts for the week. You can do that using Hootsuite. It's a great social media management tool um, and it's very convenient. All right, well, thank you. I think uh, we'll wrap this up pretty quickly. Just to let you know, on average, we distribute at least two press releases a month, advertorial, social syndication, infographics, 
various advertisements placed in Wall Street Journal and additional target publications depending. And on this monthly basis, we'll give you exactly what you need and hold your hand through it. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. You know, I'm going to unmute all of the participants at this time and for an open question and answer session. And just to let you know, April 20th is our next webinar for the uh, group advisory committee call. Okay, so if you have any questions, I believe everyone's unmuted at this time. Hi, Alexis. This is Ray Foxworth. Is this webinar uh, recorded or can you send us a link to it? Uh, the staff that I have that handles this happens to be out today and I'd like to uh, have her be able to view it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ray. Um, it actually, it is recorded and we will produce the link. So I'll be happy to share with you. Thank you. Thank you. Alexis, this is Dr. McAllister. I just wanted to uh, to reiterate um, our our striving goal is to produce something that's short and sweet for your state or group membership. So we're constantly looking for feedback from from your groups on things that you'd like to see. But as Alexis did mention, that at minimum you're going to see press releases coming out each month, and our goal is to be able to continue our social media posting. So if, for example, you know this is a really busy week through through um, your state association or um, your particular group, um, please log on to our Facebook site and just grab what we have and share it. And it's an easy way. If, uh, if your group is very busy, then you still have something out there and you're continuing to be active. As a group advisory committee member, your voice means everything to us. So um, as we record these and you guys look at them, you probably have somebody in your group who would like to ask questions or comments. Please feel free to forward those to us. We're going to strive to do this on the third Thursday of every month. Unfortunately, this, this month was uh, changed due to ACC RAC, but our next meeting would be, um, as, as uh, Alexis said, it would be Thursday, April 21st at the same time. And we're going to try to keep them really concise so we're not taking a lot of your time, but hopefully information packed. So thank you, Alexis. You did a great job today. Thank you very much. And if anybody has any other questions or, um, you know, something come, <clears throat> excuse me, comes up later, feel free to email me. My contact information is Alexis at F4CP.com. Um, that's it. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. And if we don't have any other questions, um, I think we can uh, sign off. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.